welcome to all today we will discuss software process in software engineering before that in the last classes we will discuss unit queue nature of the web apps i will what the we will discuss in previous classes what is the meaning of the unit queue nature of web apps is nothing but in earlier days we have to use the some hyperlink we have to use or some website we have to use to retrieve the some informations but nowadays we have to use the huge number of large number of web apps we have to use to access or to retrieve or to retrieve the informations so that is the difference between earlier days and the nowadays and the next how to measure the quality of the web apps we have to use the some attribute we have to use to measure the quality of the web apps what are the attribute we have to use that is the network intensiveness and the next concurrency and then availability security data driven acoustic these are all the attribute we have to use to measure the quality of the web apps softwares these things are this thing and all we have to discuss in previous classes now we will move to the today topics software process now what is the use of the software process if you are developing any application means what are all the activity should be involved what are all the activity should be involved from initial customer foundation to the final product or development that should be described that should be defined in the software process that is a called as a software process so software process for the software process this software process cover the entire range of activities from initial customer foundation to the software production and the maintenance what are the things we have to do and what are the things we have to need everything we have to describe in this from customer foundation to the software production and the maintenance that is called as a software process in this soft this activity should also it is also called as software development life cycle sdlc that is it is also called as a software development life cycle sdlc now will what are the suppose what are the activity some of the steps will be involved during the software process what are the steps involved will discuss one by one first these are all the steps should be involved during the any software process first one is the requirement and the second one is the analysis and third one is the design and fourth one is the implementations and last one is the maintenance these are all the steps we have to involve during the software process that is the requirement and analysis and design and implementation and the maintenance this five steps involve during any software process now we will discuss one by one first one is a requirement suppose what we have to do in this steps we will discuss now suppose if you want to develop any applications means before developing the applications what are the things we have to need we have to collect the requirements we have to collect the requirements in this steps how to collect the requirements suppose if you are developing any software means before that we have to communicate with the users what are the suppose we are developing this applications what are the things we have to need so we have to interact with the users communicate with the customer interact with the users and to develop the softwares that is the thing so we have to main agent of this steps is we have to collect the requirements related to the softwares and then next during the collection of requirements the 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 people will be write the crs document that is a customer requirement specification document should be written from suppose if you are getting some information from the customer those things are we have to convert it into the crs what are the things we have to record all those things will be converted into the crs document that crs document will be describe what we have to do the what that software going what that software what going to do those things are we have to describe in this steps that is the first steps and then second step that is the analysis phases in this analysis phase what is the meaning of the analysis phases it is after collecting the requirement 
without analysis this this collected details are feasible or not we have to satisfy the collector collected requirements are feasible or not we have to decide it in this steps so now in this step analysis step, in this stage involve the some issues will be involved during the analysis some of the issues we have to facing what are the issues we have to facing we have to facing the financial issues we have to facing and we have to facing the technical issues we have to facing and then operational issues we have to facing and the time management we have to facing those things are we have to rectify during the analysis we have to rectify those issues that is the financial issues we have to rectify the technical issues and then operation what are the operations we have to use those things are the operational issues and then time management issues those things are we have to rectify during the analysis phases in this analysis phases who are involved in this analysis phases mean there are two people they will be involved in the analysis people that is the business analysis and the software architects and then software developers hr people and the financial managers those people are involved to discuss to analysis inform detail about the any software process those people are involved to analysis the any software these are analysis phases so in this analysis phases in this stage involve expo issues they are different they are rectifying the issues related to the financial technical operational and the time management those things are we have to rectify and also in this during the analysis phases the some team some team people are involved who are the involved to analysis means they are involved some business analysis and then software architects and then software developers hr people and the financial people those people are involved to analysis the any software process this is the second step and the next we will go to the third step co design after this third step after completing the analysis process now we have to design a code this design phase is nothing but it is also called as the blueprint of the software it is also called as the blueprint of the software in this phases we got to implement the code so we got to use some high level language we got some front end and back end we got to use in this front end we got to use any oracle or any sql or visual database like this we got to use and design a front end and then back end we got to use the some high level language we got to use some high level language we got to use to develop the back end in this high level language we got to use the c or c++ or java or we have to use the python like this high level language we have to use to develop the back end in this during the designing process there will be if you are designing any software means they will involve the they will create a high level design of software along with the low level designs we have to create a high level design of software along with the low level designs in this design they will describe each and every in this designing process we have to describe each and every component of the activities we have to describe the any each and every component of the software should activities that software what we have to do that software what what is the use of that software what we have to do the everything will be described in the designing process so that is the designing process so designing is nothing but after completing the analysis phases we have to design a software it is also called as a blueprint of the software in this designing process the software developer should be create a high level design design of the software along with the low level design in this phases we have to describe that software what we have to do that software what can be done that that can be described in this phases that is a design phases the next fourth one is implementations in this implementations there are three things we have to do what are the three things we have to do we have to do the coding and the next one is the testing and the third one is the installations these are the three things we have to do in the implementation phases
In this implementation step, we have to do the coding and the testing and the installations. In this coding path, we have to develop the coding by using the some high level languages. So during the coding part, suppose if you are developing any software means, in that software will be split into the different modules. That each and every module should be assigned to the one team members. Of the, and then that's the entire software will be split into different modules. Each and every module will be assigned to the each and every team. The team should corresponding team should be done for the given modules. After completing the entire model, we have to integrate it. We have to the different team that should be integrated into the single product, single apps. Uh, these, are, these are things should be done in the coding steps, coding activities. In this coding activity already I told, in this coding activities, how to write the coding with the help of some high level language we have to use. That is we have to use the C or C++ or Python like this high level language we have to use to write the codings. After completing the coding path, that entire, the entire, entire software will be given into the testing peoples. They are tested with the developed apps. That is a, you should be satisfied for the customer satisfaction or not. We have to test the software with the help of some testing method. We have to use the unit testing or we have to use the black box testing. Like this, we have to use to validate and verify the uh, software. That is the thing should be done. After completing the testing process, if the software is successful, that should be installed into the that should be in, installed into the some, some servers. After releasing this internet, then deploy the software into the server. After that is pro, that process called as the installation. That process called as the installation. So after releasing the software, that can be deployed into the server. That 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 the things should be done in the implement implementation phases. So in this implementation phases, we have to do the three things. That is the coding. Second one is the testing, and third one is the installation. In this coding part, then we have to write the coding for the particular software by using the some high level language. After completing the coding, we have to do the testing process. The testing process can be done by using the some unit testing or black box testing. We have to do with to do the verification and the validations after completing the testing process, we have to installation. That is the, the software should be deployed into the servers. That is the things should be done in the implementation phases. And the last one is the maintenance. This maintenance phase is, is keeping on going. This maintenance phase, maintenance phase is keeping on This maintenance phase is keeping on going. In this maintenance phase, after completing every things, we have to deliver that software into the market. That software will be meeting into the some customers. So we have to after releasing that software, some people some people are maintaining that software. During the maintaining process, we suppose if you want to some do any modification, some do any modification or we have to do the some any features we want to add and everything should be done in the maintenance phases only. So suppose after implementing, after delivering the, uh, sorry, after releasing the software, the customer need a, some requirements. Suppose the requirements will be not available in that software means during the time we have to do that things. After that we have to release the software. That is the reason that, that implement any software that should be maintenance. This is the maintenance phase. That is the five step we have to follow for developing any software. This is the architecture for the software process. Already we will discuss that is the what are the steps they will be involved. That is the first step is requirement. We have to collect the requirements. And then second step is the analysis. And then third step is the implementation. That is the coding and the testing and installations. And the final step is the maintenance. This is the flow of, flow, the flow of the direction for developing any software 
process the next suppose if you are developing any software process we have to use the the five steps apart from the five steps some of the activity will be involved apart from the step some of the activities that is we have to include the sub activities that is a, they will be included the some sub activity and then supporting activity and other activities are involved during the software process in practice now we will discuss one by one what are the sub activities involved what are the supporting activity will be involved and what are the other activity involved we will discuss in sub activity in practice in sub activity should be included for the requirement and then validations and then architecture design and the unit testing these things are all will be involved during the any software process that is those things are will be covered under the sub activities those things are should be cover under the sub activities during in practice during the software process some activities will be involved what are sub activities means we have to involve the requirements and then validations and the next one is the architectural design and the next one is the unit testing and etc some of the etc these things are will be involved in the sub activities and the next one is that and also they will be involved some supporting activities also will be involved what are the supporting activities will be involved they will be involved in some configuration management and then we have to change the management and then we have to change the sorry we have to define the user experience and also we have to define the quality of the assurance and we have to change the project management also sometimes they change the project management also during the software process those things are those things and all we have to define it in the supporting activity so this supporting activity that should be included the configuration management and the change management and then quality assurance and then project management and the user experience those things are we have to define it in the supporting activities and the last one is apart from these two activities some other activities also involved during the software process what are the support what are the other activities we have to do this other activities we have to improve the software by using the some tools and the techniques we have to use we have to use the use the some tools and the new technique we have to use to improve the softwares during the suppose if you are using new tools and technique with the following best practice the process standardizations and the standardizations are needed for improving the software activities and the next one is apart from this when you are talking about the software products three things are essentials what are the three things essentials the first one is the product second is the role and third one is the pre and the post conditions if you are developing any software means definitely we have to talk about the three things that is the product second one is the roles and third one is the response pre and the post conditions now we will discuss what's in by product and what's in by role and what's in by pre and the post conditions product what are the meaning of the product this product is nothing but if you are developing any software means outcome of the software should be defined by the product that is called as a product so product is nothing it is a outcome of the activities so if you are developing any application means what is the outcome we have to re receive what is the outcome we have to deliver that should be called as a product then second is the roles what is the meaning of the roles it is role is nothing but it is a responsibility of the software people the role is nothing but it is a responsibility of the people in this people in the sense they will be involved the some project manager or some programmer those are having the some responsibilities that should be defined in the roles so role is nothing but the responsibility of the people involved in the process example they are involved the project manager or they will be involved the some software developers they should be involved that is the roles and the third one is the pre and the post conditions what is the meaning of the pre and post conditions suppose if you are developing any software means before developing the software we have to check the some pre conditions that that if you are 
assign the some conditions before developing the software we have to assign the some conditions it should be satisfied for the condition means we have to continue the next levels otherwise we have to stop and change the designing process that is the three conditions and what is the meaning of the post conditions this post condition is nothing but after developing the software we have to describe the we have to review everything we have to review everything that is called as the post condition this post condition is nothing but the diagram describing the architecture have been reviewed that is the post condition these are three three things we have to use for developing any software process that's all about the software process now we have to summarize what are the things we have to discuss today classes okay what are the what is the topic of the today classes software process what is the meaning of the software process software process nothing but it is the entire range of entire range of activity from initial foundation to initial foundation to the final products this is called as a software process software process nothing but it is a entire range of activities from initial foundation of customer foundation to the final product this software process is also called as a software development life cycles sdlc in this software process we how to implement the software that the, that the software process should be consist of five steps that is the requirement and then second is the analysis and the third one is the design and then fourth one is the implementations and then fifth one is the maintenance this is the five steps will be involved during the software process requirements what are the requirements we have to collect the what are the things we have to need it we have to collect the all the requirements in this steps the next one is the analysis in this analysis phases we have to analyze the previous steps some doc, some informations are we have to collected the collected information should be analyzed by using the some people they are involved the some financial people they are business analysis people and then project managers hr team financial team those people are involved to analyze the collected information and then design after completing the analysis process we have to design a software it is also called as a blueprint of the software and then implementations in this implementations we have to do the three things we have to do in this implementation that is we have to do the coding part after completing the coding part we have to do the testing part after completing the testing part we have to installation we have to deploy into the servers that is the implementation process and then finally we have to do the maintenance part maintenance step in this maintenance step it should be going on keeping it should be in features if you want to add any extra features means any extra feature if we want to add or if we want to modify anything means in that cases we have to go to the maintenance steps we have to do everything these are five steps we have to do the software process okay that's all about thank you students